almost as soon as the laser was invented, people started thinking of ways to accelerate particles with them. Um, but it's only been fairly recently that all of the technology has, uh, and expertise has converged to the point where we can actually fabricate the tiny structures that are needed um, and have the high repetition rate uh, solid state lasers that are, that are needed in order to realize this technology. Part of the motivation is making accelerators not only smaller but also cheaper and um, affordable for a variety of researchers. Part of that is the fabrication process. In this case, we're using the same techniques that are used by the silicon microchip industry. It's similar to doing for transistors, which went from originally computers were built, um, remember the ENIAC days, uh, computers uh, were filled with giant uh, vacuum tubes and became much smaller once you had transistors and then, uh, and then integrated chips. We're essentially trying to do the same thing for accelerators. So going from uh, large microwave sources and copper cavities to uh, small micron scale structures that are fabricated using this, the same sorts of techniques that are used uh, for integrated chips. Our, our vision for the future is having accelerator facilities that can come to the user rather than users going to the accelerator facility. That means portable medical x-ray imaging devices, university scale light sources, and a much more compact and uh, affordable multi-TEV high energy frontier accelerators for probing the uh, mysteries of the universe um, like the LHC recently did with the, uh, the discovery of the Higgs boson.